Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody on Facebook tonight wanted to know how they could get a vector of this logo, and I did a little research, and it stands for Mickey Thompson was a race car driver many, many years ago, real popular innovator, makes tires, or company still around, I think, but anyway, the logo today isn't like this, it doesn't have these rounded corners. And this is a picture off eBay of somebody selling some cylinder heads or lifter covers. So I just drew it. Uh, and I didn't take a lot of time, and it's not exactly right, but it would work. So I just picked a font. This is Blair of MDIC or something. It was pretty close. And I'm going to... First of all, I'm going to go control K and make each letter separate. Then I'm going to left click and right click and I'm going to make it yellow so it kind of shows up on this darker screen. And I'm just going to do one of the, well, the M was actually, well, they're both pretty easy. And then you just need to kind of change it to, to get to your size, you know, kind of squeeze it. Uh, get these things more so on the edge. It needs to be a little shorter. Um, a little shorter this way, but now you see the M is different. So we need to go to object and convert to curves. Take your shape tool and just move that up. And I'm not paying too much attention to getting it left or right. And you can see that's a little bit off. But you bring this up. And really, you only have to do one side. And I'm, I'm doing both, and I shouldn't really. So this one's probably closer. Let's grab both these nodes and select both these nodes and bring them down. So that's pretty close. And then this looks like it's different all the way around. It's, it's not a great picture. But then just take a, basically a, a circle, or a, don't, don't have to be a perfect circle. And let's make it yellow. And let's bring it over here. And you want it to the top of that deal. So let's make it a little bit bigger. And then let's control D and make a duplicate of that and put that same circle the same distance off, but you want it on that edge. And like I said, it's not exactly the one off the, off the logo. But then I would take all this and I would weld it. Then I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. And there it is. Now we're going to make it red. And this is where it makes it pretty easy to draw. Now we've got a little bit of, we want this side. So we've got a little bit of hook, hiccup right there. And I'm going to delete that node. And I'm going to delete that extra node. Let's zoom in here and look at it. See, we're a little bit off, so let's delete that node, and we got a good smooth, let's delete that node, and let's even bring this up a little bit, and then let's go down and look at the bottom one, so we're off on that, we were probably a little bit too close, so let's take our shape tool and delete that node, let's bring that up like we did the other one, to get it kind of in the same shape. Let's bring that down. Let's let's see what happens when we delete that. That's pretty good. Now you're you're halfway there, and then just take a two-point line, holding down your control key, so it'll be perpendicular, and then hit P to put it in the center of the page. And you can see we're not in the center because the the right hand is is thicker. So I'm going to cursor over. And that's pretty good. And now I'm going to take the virtual segment delete key. I'm just going to delete this. Now we can get rid of our line. And this isn't perfect. Uh, we probably need to move. Well, there's a little hiccup right there on that node too. Go to our shape tool. And we need to probably bring, holding down the control button, bring that up a little bit. Now... We're going to go control D, still holding down the control button and move it over. Take your smart fill tool 
and fill it in with black. We want no hairline, no outline. And I've got a break somewhere. Uh, so it did not work perfectly. Let's see where our break is. It's right there. Because I made that one line a little shorter. So let's completely back up here and take that one away. Now let's extend that line to pass what I've, I've still got my duplicate. I didn't back up far enough. So let's zoom in here a little bit. Let's just take that line and bring it down further and actually bring it up a little bit. Now, let's zoom in. And we can control D and make a duplicate. Still holding down the control button. And just mirror this over. Now our other one's too short. So that didn't really work. These two nodes didn't need to be perfectly aligned. So let's see if we can grab our shape tool and select both these and go up to align uh, vertically. And I still got my, see I made a duplicate. So let's do it again. When you back up, you got to remember back up everything you did. Let's grab those two nodes, go up to align, align vertically, and it put them even now. We're still a little bit off, but for the video, that's good enough. You can play with it. Now let's go control D and holding down our control button. And now it should work with the smart fill tool. And it did take your smart fill away and left click, right click. And that way you have a vector copy of that. Now the T was equally as good. I'm going to hit F4 and it's going to bring up everything on the page. The T was actually probably a little easier. And if I would have been thinking it would have been smart to save that circle so that it'd be the same size. We're going to bring that up. Uh, we're going to let's zoom in here a little bit. Grab our shape tool. Well, we need to convert it to a curve. Grab our shape tool and let's grab these two nodes and just bring them down. Now we need to probably grab these two nodes and bring them down. Probably actually need to bring these up a little bit. See, I'm grabbing all four nodes. Now here, what I would do is grab these two nodes and I'm going to just cursor over. I'm going to grab these two nodes and I'm going to cursor over. Kind of make it about the same thickness as our original T. Now the T, it looks a little bit different. So we're just going to draw, draw some circles. We'll make them yellow for the video so they show up good. And we'll place it right there. And we'll, again, we're only doing one side. So we don't have to put it over there. Now we're going to draw a rectangle about the size of this part. And we're going to round it off. And we're going to make it yellow for the video. And then we need to just move this down till it gets to the top. And, you, and if you ever get to where you're really close, you can hold down the control arrow and you can micro. So I'm going to come off micro nudge is what it called. I'm going to weld that. That looked pretty good. I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. Let's zoom in here. Let's take away our M. Let's change our T to red. So now it'll show up. And this time we're going to do just the opposite we did on the other side. We're going to go the other way. I'm going to grab a line, hit T, and see how it's bigger on that one side. And get Just get it close. Grab your virtual segment, delete key. And just delete all this. Then we can get rid of our line. Control D to make a duplicate. And slide that over. And use the smart fill tool. Which is basically the same thing as welding it. And there you have the two letters of the logo. And I hope I'm not taking too much of your time. I'm going to actually 
show you how I drew this and get it to size. So let's take, let's zoom in here. We'll grab a, and it, you could you could actually rotate the picture and make it pretty easy. But let's just draw that, round off the corners. Let me make it yellow so it shows up. Let's rotate it. And I can see that we're too thick and we're too long, but that's easily fixed. It'd be a little bit easier if we rotated the picture. So we're gonna just angle this down. We need to rotate just a little bit more. And you could play with this till the cows come home. That's gonna be good enough. Well, let me, I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter. Let's rotate it just a hair more. Now we're going to use our nudge distance just to bring it in. Now we're going to leave that there. And we're going to bring in our new, I'm going to hit F4, brings everything up on the page. Here's our two new letters. I'm going to change them to yellow so we can actually see them a little better. I'm going to make sure they're the right height. And for the video, I'm going to call that good enough. I'm going to call that good enough. Now you can take away your picture. And you can fill this in with yellow. But let's do them all in black. And there you have that logo. It's pretty close. Um, text and stuff like this just don't uh, trace very well. But uh, if you were going to engrave that for somebody, they would think it was dead on. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.